Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at iOS 12 beta 4. Yesterday, I gave you guys a quick update on some of the bugs and issues with the operating system. I was still having issues with Fortnite and I was also having issues with the Netflix application, but it appears that after deleting the applications and reinstalling them, they started working again. And that's just in case if you guys are still having issues. But without further ado, as always, I'd like to share with you guys some of the new changes and features within the software. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's begin. Starting off with a new splash screen when you start up your iPhone or when you restore your iPhone, you get here a keep your iPhone up to date splash screen, which tells you that you can go ahead and set up your iPhone directly to automatically update or do it manually if you select manually then you can always go into settings and software updates and right here you can always change that option back to automatic if you wish to do so and your iphone will automatically update to the latest versions of ios so one new feature is inside of the app store if we go to the search tab here on the bottom right and type let's say apple here you see that it gives us more information not just application searches we see apple and developers we see also apple watch apps and stories and things like that so new searches within the app store it is a new feature it gives you categories of apps that are apple related and things like that and also stories behind different sets of applications a pretty cool update there to the app store in the messages application under the activity rings and the activity options we have more animations and more activities that we can share more stickers and animations in that section itself if we go to take a photo we now have the ability to add stickers and effects so as we add the effects if we go right here to the shape we see now more shapes and more animations they're actually animated before they weren't animated so the shapes are different there as well in ios 12 beta 4 there's also minor changes to how you create or edit your n emojis so right here for you n emojis we have nine options for lips they used to be six and if we go to the earrings we also see a shinier metallic color added over top layer of the colors that were there for the earrings so this makes the uh, shinier pop out a little better so different options or upgraded options there within the n emojis as well inside of the batteries tab in ios was 12 beta 4 if we scroll all the way down underneath all the application it gives you a brief description that wasn't there in beta 3 showing proportion of battery usage by each application it's now something that's explained at the bottom of the sections for the batteries tab now i want to share some minor ui changes with you guys for example scrolling all the way down in the settings application you may notice a larger space at the bottom with nothing on it who knows if apple is going to be adding additional toggles and things towards the bottom of the settings app who knows or maybe it's just a glitch or Maybe it's just to have better visibility of the app switch or the multitasking bar. Who knows? But anyway, it is a change there in iOS 12. If we go to the Photos application, there's also some minor changes within the AirPlay icons here. When you click the Share options, it's also been modified as well. Now, this next one was discovered by Everything Apple Pro, and it's a UI change with the signal bars here at the top. If we go to AirPlay mode and activate the network, you see this sort of a wave effect on the signal bar indicator. So a pretty cool effect there while searching for networks in the status bar. When editing a photo or an image in iOS 12 beta 4, if we go to the markup option, so we go to markup something, we have a new UI here for the tools. And also for the colors and the platter here, we no longer have the done button. In iOS 12 beta 3, there was a done button below. All you have to do now is tap and tap to dismiss. So minor changes here in the photos application as well. Now in iOS 12 beta 3, if you try to re-enable Siri by pressing on the side button and serious disable this is what you would get right here you see the ui is slightly different in beta 4 i'm not sure if that's just me but it just pops right at you different colors and more colors and more vibrant even the icon is larger as well and last but not least i want to talk about do not disturb there's a brief updated description for the do not disturb bedtime mode is now just simply bedtime and we have a direct link within the description to take us to the bedtime mode options inside of the clocks application so you guys have it some of the minor changes and some minor new features within ios 12 12 beta 4. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.